Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to enable the resume on Bower off feature in Marlin 2.0. It's actually quite simple to do, but I ran into some troubles causing me to make this video. Let's get started. I wanna get started by quickly explaining what the feature does. Whenever the C position changes, information about the current machine state, including for example the temperatures, fan speed and the data position of the currently executed command of the gcode file is saved to the SD card as a separate file. Now, when a printer turns on, Marlin looks for set file and asks the user if they want to continue with the print and if responded to positively, reloads its previous state. There are also some power supplies that output their current power status. Marlin also has support for them in a way that if the power turns off, as indicated via a separate status pin, Marlin quickly writes its current state to the SD card before the power to the board dies off completely. This removes the need for always saving to the SD card, drastically increasing its lifespan. As I don't have a setup like this, for now at least, I will go with the first option. For this video, I'll continue with the same setup I left off from last video, where I flashed Marlin 2.0 onto my ANET A2 3D printer. The only thing necessary to do is to move to the advanced config file, uncomment the line containing define power loss recovery and also set the BLR enabled default field to true, so to always enable it by default. In theory, that should be everything and you just need to compile and upload and voila, you're done. However, I encountered two issues at this stage. The first one was right after I hit the upload, I bricked the controller. Nice. It turned out that the ANET board configuration on platform IO ignored the fact that a bootloader on a controller also needs some space. When uploading, it apparently managed to override it. You can see the difference when I compiled the exactly same state of the project with the Arduino IDE. Don't ask me, it's probably my fault or even a messed up configuration somewhere, but at the time of creating this video, right now, I still don't know why that happened. Nevertheless. The controller was bricked. Nothing happened when you turned it on. So to unbrick it, I had to flash a new bootloader, following my own video as a reference. Here you can see how to properly wire up the ICSP header. But maybe I've even created a separate video showing you how to do this with the init board. With the new bootloader activated, I flashed the old Marlin 2 config, the one I started with again, so at least the printer was back up and running. To avoid running out of memory again, I disabled ARC support to get some extra 3 kilobytes, which were enough to not override the bootloader during the process of flashing the new config with the power loss recovery feature enabled. Nice. But although everything was properly enabled and the feature even shows up as activated in the menu, it just didn't work. Once power was restored to the machine when cutting it off earlier, no resume pop-up opened. But thanks to some research, I found a bug report on exactly that issue. And it turned out that the bug fix was already committed into the 2.0 bug fix branch at the time. So I went ahead and just downloaded the current state. I went ahead and copied the configuration files from before to the new setup, causing a few migration errors, mainly the hardcoded version and one or two other fields that were different now. But that was it. So after compiling and reflashing without breaking the controller, is the issue resolved? Yes, it is. After I cut off the power during printing and restarted the machine, a pop-up appeared on the screen asking me if I want to continue this print. Obviously, I like to. Why else would I have gone through all the effort? After the printer heated up, it leveled both the X and the Y axis and then restarts the layer it left off. Awesome. I also took a look at the SD card to find the power loss recovery file. I know this was much, but that's the story of how I enabled the power loss recovery feature for my ANET printer. The feature doesn't work in the 2.0.5.3 release, but it apparently worked in 2.0.5 main release and it definitely will work in the next one. So at the time you're watching this video, it's probably already fixed and you don't need to go through all of the effort I had to. Hopefully. On the other hand, the feature is also available in the 1.1.9 version, so for printers with boards with only a little bit of memory like my ANET board, it's the better choice probably. But that's it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to like if it helped you and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. 
If you should run into some troubles trying it out or trying to follow my advice, do not hesitate to contact me. I will try to come back to you as soon as possible. See ya. Have a nice day. Bye.